Good morning everybody, it's Thursday today and um, the weather's a wee bit clammy. Uh, been a good week so far though, during the day certainly. Um, unfortunately not so good um, for people further north with the rains and the flooding there. And uh, I think we can all um, be uh, remembering in our prayers of people in uh, Aberdeenshire on the train yesterday. That was derailed um, very sadly. Uh, and I think it um, seems to have been caused a bit by the landslide with the weather. Uh, so, although the weather has been good for us, um, certainly not been good for some people at some places around about our own country of Scotland. So, um, morning everybody, if you're looking and if you're listening, uh, and I hope you've got good things planned for a Thursday. Uh, not too much happening at the minute. Um, just to let you know, we do have a wee group of elders and myself that are um, looking at all the legislation and all the documentation that comes in about opening up the church again. And uh, we are doing our best to try and move uh, with these uh, new guidelines that come along and uh, work towards getting our church open. So I just don't want people to think that we weren't doing anything. Uh, lots going on behind the scenes, lots of um, investigating one thing and another so that we are safely opening up uh, when we're able to do so. Yeah, I think you will appreciate if you've been to a shop or anywhere else uh, lately, you will appreciate that uh, things have really changed with our world and uh, all the different um, rules and regulations that have got to be in place now. We have got to really adhere to all of these uh, before we can get the church open. So um, have a good day today. Who, who would believe it's nearly the end of another week? Uh, we did have a wee um, egg scare yesterday with Brody, uh, and uh, they've decided that they think he might have an egg allergy. So uh, he's bright and breezy this morning. Um, John and Sophie have sent us a video with them uh, laughing at a piece of bread and uh, I've sent them back a message to say who would have thought a piece of bread could be so funny but um, enjoy time with your family if you can and um, remember we're here if you need anything or any help with anything so I've been reading from the Gospels and we have had uh, quite a lot of readings from Matthew over the last couple of weeks and this week I've been on to uh, Luke and I make no apologies for reading from Luke chapter 2. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius the governor of, was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own hometown. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay at the inn. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Saviour was born, Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those who, with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, 
singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. Amen. And God bless this reading from Luke chapter 2. So, have a good day everybody. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow. Uh, I don't think we've got anything else to report. So, take care and um, we'll be back same time tomorrow. Bye.